that floater a lot too. Take your time with it, especially on the screen and roll. Turn quickly because they're kind of blitzing a little. So you might My name is Lindsay Harding. I'm an assistant coach for the Sacramento Kings. Turn early if they trap or pass it to you or that roll. Good job. Come on. I never really wanted to be a coach to start. I was just a player and at that time I was playing in the WNBA. And I had an opportunity to be an assistant coach in Summer League for the Toronto Raptors. At that moment, I said, I could do this. You know, when I'm, when I'm finished playing, I, I think I could coach. Same spot, baby. Here we go, here we go. Being part of the Kings organization has been an amazing experience. Being able to, to develop the relationships I've had with the players. I've been in their shoes before. I know what they feel. I know the, their pressures. I know the days where everything is good and it's fun. And I know those days where it's just tough. You don't even want to put your foot in a shoe because you're just so sore and tired. So having that understanding and develop that relationship has been great. Good job. Having such a, an experienced staff, they're very open, willing to share and teach everything that they know. It's, it's been really great for me, having that opportunity. It's important to fight for equal opportunities being a woman, but it's also important to fight for, for equity. You don't want to just be part of something where, hey, we don't have a woman, let's hire a woman. You want to be part of something where an organization says, you know what, let's have some more diversity around here, someone that is qualified that may not look like everyone around here, and also give them the same equal piece of the pie. I think the best advice I, I would give a, a young girl is be who you are. Don't try to fit in. Understanding people will look at you a little differently but just own who you are. Sometimes you have to make people uncomfortable to get them to move. And, and once things move and it becomes the norm, it won't be, oh, you're one of the first female coaches and I'll stop being called a female coach. I'll just be called a coach, a coach in the NBA.